today we're gonna open the vault. Let's cut through lose vault. A Jolly Roger game. Cut through lose vault. Oh no, scary. A creative storytelling game set in the world of HP Lovecraft. Three to six players. Up to 45 minutes of horrifying Cthulhu Vaultness. Creative storytelling game set in the world of HP Lovecraft. Aliens from Pluto. Mystical forces, the invisible beings which you subconscious senses and keeps you afraid of basements and bumps in the night. These are yours with Cthulhu's Vault, a storytelling game where players cooperate to create a classic horror story of men and women who slowly reveal horrors which no man should know. No woman should know either. And when that horror is revealed... Whether Haystar, Cthulhu, or Dread, Narlo Thrip, a second story will be told. The story of the fight to drive the evil back to its own world or dimension, so that humanity may continue, or at least morph one more day. Jelly Roger Games. Ultra Pro www.jellyrogergames.com and www.ultrapro.com Questions are coming. It's called 1 800 621 9495. Or go to www.ultrapro.com. I'll leave links to Jolly Roger Games and Ultra Pro in the comments down below. Oh no. I'm fixing to open it. Oh no. We're opening the vault. Cut through loose vault. Dangerous. Dangerous. Dang. Ah! We opened the vault. So here's what we got in here. In the vault, we got 85 story cards, 11 ancient ones, 9 investigators, 16 battle one, Cthulhu's vault, see I opened the vault and stuff, weird stuff starting to happen, 32 investigator battle cards, 12 battle order cards, a power guide card, Three dice and 70 tokens. And a 20 page rule book. Here's the 20 page rule book. Ru the rules. Are there rules when it comes to Cthulhu's? Thank you for playing. Here's all these little tiles. See, we got different kinds of tiles. On one side, they have mystery one or mystery two. The other side, they. Some have like skeletons, some have these whirlwinds, some have these skeletons of ones, twos, and it's on the front we got investigator one, or investigator two, and then we got cultist one, cultist two, so we got investigators and cultists. Then we got these dice which have... One, two, three, four, five, and then a Cthulhu monster on the sixth. Cthulhu's Vault. Cthulhu's Vault is a storytelling game set in the world of H.P. Lovecraft. While storytelling is fun and entertaining part of the game, players are not rewarded or penalized based upon their storytelling skills. Victory will be based around playing story cards to acquire the most investigator and cultist tokens to awaken the player's ancient one. As players collect these tokens, they are working to awaken the ancient one. Card they hold by gathering the required cultist tokens and at the same time issue the best pick of an investigator for the final epic battle another player manages to awaken an ancient one first once an ancient one awakens the player achieving the goal works to crush the other players that become investigators in the epic battle where only one will survive if the investigators can defeat the ancient one they win the game as a team, even if some of the investors have perished. If the Ancient One wins, the player alone gains victory. So, first of all, what you do is you do the Ancient One step. Ancient One. 
shuffle the ancient one cards, and everybody gets an ancient one card. Then you shuffle the story cards, and everybody gets seven story cards. Then you do the starting player powers. Known power pools, mystery power pools, power guide card, epic battle materials, first player. Playing the game, mystery stage, story card playing tailor log, the player log. Examples. Mystery stage, phase one or waking the ancient one. Playing the story cards. Story icons, you got people, places, items, cult, events. Ancient ones. Overview of the card. Player turn, step by step. One, two, three, four. Ending the mystery stage. The epic battle stage. Epic battles! Investigator Ancient Wind Card Anatomy. Health. Ancient Wind Player. Battle decks. Prepare the battle deck order. Dice, epic battle turn, reveal battle order card. Eliminate investigator. Battle cards, overview. Investigator battle cards. Ending the game. The ancient ones. The ancient ones we have in this game are Cthulhu. The greatest of old ones. He is usually described as part octopus, part man. Often it is mentioned he has wings as well as glowing eyes. Its first appearance was in the story Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu, created by August Derleth, Cthulhu is known as the Burning One. Used often in Darleth's stories, considered an elemental, Cthulhu is said to have spawned the five vampires. Holster. Holster was created by Ambrose Bryce in 1893 and has been used in many ways. Benevolent for some authors, pure evil to others. Terry Patchett considered Holster a fallen angel and Prince of Hell. Nag Nagota. Created in 1937 by Henry Cunter. He is associated with Mideast and his dislike for religious symbols crosses. Often in combination with reciting mystical book passages. Yig. Created by Zella Bishop, Yig was remade by H.P. Lovecraft. He is considered the father of serpents and clearly an American deity. Feared by Indian tribes across North and South America. Wagaluknuk, a modern creation, Wagaluknuk, first appeared in the mythos in 1969. He is the god of depravity and different than any of Lovecraft's creations. In this, in that you love growth and understands humans, and is capable of interacting with them on a normal basis. Presumed individuals can associate with infinite corruption, cruelty, depravity. Narlotrip. Trotrip. This is the god of a thousand forms, popularized through the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. He usually appears in the disguise of Pharaoh, some alien species such as Mago worship. Ithaqua, also known as Wendigo. This is the, uh, another god associated with American primarily. The Arctic and subarctic tribes leave regular sacrifices of live creatures to appease Ithaqua. Some say that he is also the great Yeti and is also able to be found in Himalayas. Tasatagruga, created by Clark Smith for his own stories. Tasatagruga, first 
appeared in Lovecraft's own The Whisper in the Darkness in 1939. Chasada Gruga is named in a majority of ancient texts puzzling scholars, has usually encountered in warm climes as he has lived with the earth since the first ice age more than a hundred thousand years ago. Shut a meal. Brian Lumery originally shut a meal in 1974. He lives within the earth as a worm like creature capable of melting anything from rock to enchanted metals. Shut a meal is a personal favorite of Richard Lunas. Culture of Spirit first appeared in the last post. A vault co creator, Jim did the spirit of God, is a god of the skelts. Capable of appearing in multiple forms, but always human. Spirit refers to work through nightmares and positions rather than taking their cor corporeal form. How to tell a really good story. And that was the rules. Now let's look at the cards. So these are the these are the battle orders for these are the battle orders cards so we have we have Different colors. We have the investigators, the ancient ones, and the uh, bed orders cards. So, ancient ones have their cards. The um, investigators have their cards, and the uh, everybody else has their cards. We have these sleeves to protect certain cards that came with the game. Then we have these bigger cards, which are some are story cards, some are not. Hold on. All right, these are the story cards, and these are the the investigator cards. So we have. Um, a journalist as an investigator. He's a skeptical skeptical supporter. We have uh, the faithful nun. She has the prayer of blessing. That's her special power. Um, we've got the occultist. Their special power is spellcaster. We have the war vet. Special power is bravery. We have the Curious Student, Special Powers Good Thinking. We have The Cultist, Special Powers Spellcaster. Reformed Cultist. Reformed Cultist. We have The Private Investigator, Special Abilities Protective. We also have The Bootlegger, Special Abilities Dead Eye Aim. So, uh, then we have the, uh, here's the power, power guide, power guide card. It tells you, you know, it's like a little, thing that helps you, uh, know what you're supposed to be doing. And then we have the, um, uh, the, the, the ancient one cards. Here's Yig, special abilities, poisonous bite. It's like a snake god, serpent. Okay. Then we have Narlo Trip, multitude of masks, special ability. Then we have Keltwald Spirit, feed on Terra. Then we have Ithaqua. Freezing winds. Special ability. We got Hostar. Madness. We got Katuga. Intense heat. Kind of looks like Bolomite from Godzilla. Uh, 
Tusaduga Melis. Cthulhu, Growth and Regeneration. Shadow Mail, Sinkhole. And then we got Wagolnik, Devouring Moths. So those are the uh, monsters. Then we got all these different stories cards. See? These cards help you tell a story. Because you got to tell a story before you can unlock your ancient one. Then once you tell the story using the cards, you then play the game. So it's like a two-part game. First of all, you play the story round to unlock the ancient ones and then you play and whoever unlocks their ancient one first during the story round gets to play that ancient one and then after the person and then that person that plays the ancient one gets to try to they get to try to um Defeat the other players that are playing, which are trying to cooperate to defeat the, uh, the, uh, and send the ancient one back. Either defeat, kill, or whatever. The ancient one. So, that's pretty much what you do. So, you uh, pretty much shuffle these cards, and each player gets an ancient one, which I suppose you could sh deal them out randomly, or each first, just like each player also gets a character, um, investigator, uh, which I, you could either deal them out randomly, or you could let people pick whichever one they wanted, and, um, That's, I mean, that's the only two ways you could do it. So that's been Cthulhu's Vault. I remember that God is the real, the only God, the real true God, the God of Abraham, Esau, Isaac, Jacob, and all, the God of the Bible, the Holy Bible. He's good all the time, all the time God is good, and he can defeat any of these other ancient ones because he's the true God, the one who created the ancient um and uh, that jesus loves you and keep on gaming keep on uh enjoying my videos like comment subscribe and share and uh everybody have a great day a wonderful day amazing day cool day um and uh keep on gaming and uh keep on collecting and uh be uh, a lot safer when you open vaults, ancient things, especially stuff involving Cthulhu's, you might want to be a little more prepared than I was because uh, I didn't have no weapons except some maybe pocket knives and stuff. So, later guys and girls, don't let Cthulhu get you.